Firefighters battling this year's wildfire say they are turning lessons learned over the last year into action. KZI 9 News reporter Chris Lewenberg takes us to the front lines of the Knoll Fire along the Mackenzie River. There's no rest on the fire lines. It's a busy year for us. Across the Pacific Northwest, over 575,000 acres have already burned in 2021. Among the blazes is the Knoll Fire east of Mackenzie Bridge. We found it quickly. We got on it quickly. Lightning ignited the blaze on the steep terrain and burned 544 acres before crews got it largely under control. It's a real success for us to get a fire, get on it quickly, and put it out during really tough, hot weather conditions. A victory hard earned. The banks of the Mackenzie look like two different worlds. On this side, green and alive. But firefighters actually use the river itself as control line. And you can see on the other bank, destruction. But on Highway 126, the scar of the Holiday Farm Fire is barely in the rearview mirror, just a few dozen miles west. Gut-wrenching to know it was happening and knowing that there was little that we could do. State Senator Floyd Przanski's district encompasses the area of the Holiday Farm and Archie Creek fires, and he's eager to see lessons learned on and off the fire lines. We're seeing it on the federal level now that they're shifting their policy to a more of aggressive approach. The state is taking an aggressive approach to fire prevention, too, passing a $220 million bill aimed at improving preparedness and resilience. Senate Bill 762. We're looking for what is it we can do to minimize these type of fires from occurring. And also, when those fires do occur, what can we do to make certain we have the best uh, plan and mode of attack? And officials say the Knoll Fire is proof that the best mode of attack is a forceful one. We always fight fire aggressively. And though some fires burn their way into history books. This is what we do and how we do it. Fire crews will keep fighting the good fight. And I think we do it pretty well. At the Knoll Fire, Chris Lewenberg, KZI 9 News. In Douglas County, survivors of the Archie Creek Fire near Glide are looking to the future. KEZI 9 News reporter Jacob Roberts spoke with one couple looking to rebuild and one organization helping many others just like them. We've been here 34 years, September 1st. This month marks more than three decades in Glide for Mike and Julia Glastonbury. The couple started in a tent, upgraded to a trailer, and finally a home, which Mike built himself in less than a year. It was sort of rough times. But, um, you know, we had our good food and we had warmth and people we loved and that was the important thing. Now, 34 years later, they find themselves back in almost the same spot. The Glastonbury's residence was one of more than 150 homes destroyed by the Archie Creek Fire. The couple remembers strong winds and seeing smoke. Mike rushed to the local fire station trying to figure out what was going on. He said, go home, pack up and get out. That's what we did. The couple packed two cars with their two dogs and a cat. They grabbed tools, clothing, important papers, and some family artwork. They found shelter with one of their children in Eugene and called their home phone periodically to make sure their home was still standing. I kept calling the answering machine. I figured, well, as soon as it answers, then we're fine. And then one time it was busy. And we went, uh oh. With the house gone, they're looking for money to build a new home. FEMA is helping with that, in addition to a GoFundMe, but they're still short. Fortunately, the Glastonburys are not in this alone. Glide Revitalization has been helping hundreds of wildfire victims here in the area. Executive Director Allison Doty said the relief organization is managing 287 cases, many of whom lost their homes. We have 154 homes that were destroyed. And those 154 homes were somebody's primary residence. Doty estimates around three quarters of the fire victims want to rebuild, but some have moved on. I think the thing that has helped us is all the love, seriously, all the people that have More than came out of the woodwork and just to support us. In Glide, Jacob Roberts, KEZI 9 News. We've shown you a number of families who are back up river living in trailers or fifth wheels while they wait to rebuild. When we come back, meet one family who has spent the last year in a hotel and some of the other struggles they've had to deal with in the past year.